And it was nice seeing some of that rain yesterday, George. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a long time. Plants, grass, everything really needed. Yeah, that. yeah over two weeks there. before we had some finally some meaningful rain here in West Michigan. Got some more on the way. A couple of chances though later this week. And on Saturday, we had 12 days in a row where we reached 80 or higher, and that was a new record. Now, today is our coolest day since Memorial Day. Yeah, it's been four months since we've been this cool as well. 13 weather ball tonight remains green. No change foreseen to the cooler weather pattern foreseen and blinking bright. We have some rain in sight late tonight around the area. We have mainly cloudy skies, a lot of high clouds around farther south. There's some low clouds as well, so those clouds kept the temperatures down pretty much in the 60s today. We're currently at 64 here in Grand Rapids, 67 in South Haven and Muskegon, the warm spot 69 there up in Fremont. New points will start to come up here tonight along with our chances for rain. Right now they're in the 50s. Lots of cloud cover. We had a hint of some sunshine earlier today. Uh, this is the second of two systems that were going to come through at one time on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Now they separated out. We got a bonus dry day here today, but the second round coming in overnight tonight and that will be with us most of the day tomorrow as that storm takes a track right up over Lake Huron by Wednesday. So that puts us in the cool wet pattern. Here come the showers. This is towards daybreak tomorrow, right around 8 o'clock. Uh, some areas will see some light rain developing and then on and off rain throughout much of the day tomorrow before that finally exits overnight tomorrow night. And then we got a stretch of some sunny and milder days. There is a next a tropical system that's likely to become the next hurricane that's going to try to spin up in our direction. It may finally do so late Saturday night, and that's where we see our rain during the day on Sunday. So Tuesday and Sunday looks like the best bet for some rain. How much rain are we talking about here in Grand Rapids tomorrow? We could see up to an inch of rain. That's a lot more than our three tenths of an inch we had on Sunday. And then another round of rain Sunday and next to Monday. Over the next 10 days, we could see over two inches of rain, and that would certainly be most welcome. Uh, the long range outlook from nearly the end of the month, the 29th through the 3rd of October, we're looking at higher chances for warmer temperatures. Now we say warmer, that means likely will be warmer than our average high of 67 to 69, probably 70s, and then slightly higher chance for more precipitation, some of that being influenced by that tropical system coming up toward Michigan. Forecast then for tonight, look for increasing clouds or thickening clouds, depending on where you are. Low 50s north, upper 50s south, we will see some light rain move from south to north towards daybreak. Northern areas are going to be milder than they were last night. Many areas got down in to the 40s. You'll be in the low to mid 50s. It'll be very late tonight, maybe even toward daybreak where your light rain will start and the rain will start earlier, maybe around 4 a.m. around Kalamazoo and Battle Creek to around 6 a.m. here in Grand Rapids. Overnight lows milder than last night in the upper 50s to near 60. 13 on your side forecast. Everyone will see measurable rain tomorrow. That's great news. 68 though, that's kind of cool. 72 as the sun comes out on Wednesday, lots of sunshine Thursday and then increasing clouds on Friday. Both of those days will be 76. Over the weekend, um, the rain will hold off until Saturday night and there'll be on and off rain, upper 70s and humidity from Sunday into next to Monday. So after a long dry spell, we do at least have more chances for rain. That's yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much, George. Well, certainly today and even yesterday was quite a change from our long, warm, dry spell. We had rain yesterday and we do have more of that on the way. 13 weather ball is green. No change to the cooler weather pattern foreseen. It's also blinking bright. We have rain moving in perhaps as early as late tonight. And if you're going to be walking the dog, I'm going to give you a green paw this evening for dry conditions, a little cool. And then a yellow paw in the morning for Shiloh and Violet as the rain will be already moving into West Michigan. We had quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the day today, more to the south than to the north. You saw a good deal of sunshine north of Grand Rapids, but the clouds are moving on in. These are high clouds. There's some low clouds down to the south associated with a next wave of energy that's bringing some rain out of the southwest U.S. Yes, it's traveled all across the country, tapping the moisture that's in place. And so that rain will be with us a little bit later 
later on after midnight. It's been a cool day after readings being in the 80s. Much of the first the last couple of weeks, we are now cooling off into the 60s. We'll eventually get back into the 70s later on this week. But the first focus is when is that rain going to arrive? This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Rain showers very light throughout the morning commute and then rain on and off throughout the day. So your lunch hour is going to be wet and your evening commute most likely will be wet before the skies do lighten up with the rain and we get into some dry weather Wednesday. Lots of sunshine later on in the day. A little bit of sunshine on Thursday with warmer temperatures and it'll be dry again and even on Friday for those high school football games, it will continue to be dry, but increasing clouds with thickening conditions during the day on Saturday. But Saturday night here comes the next round of rain, not quite as heavy as it will be here tomorrow, but nonetheless, we've got some rain at the end of the weekend. How much rain are we talking about by daybreak? Maybe a tenth of an inch. You can see just about everyone seeing at least enough to wet the ground and then quite a bit more throughout the day. Grand Rapids is reporting maybe over an inch of rain tomorrow. That would certainly be most welcome and then no rain the rest of the week until Saturday night and on Sunday. This is Saturday night at 8 p.m. You can see maybe another half to three quarters of an inch on Sunday, so maybe you could stop watering now. Long range outlook. This is the first seven days of October. We have a higher chance for warmer temperatures, which at that time are in the mid and upper 60s. So 70s is definitely warmer than that and an equal chance for more or less precipitation after that rainy Sunday. It looks like we will see uh, conditions drying out just a little bit after that. Forecast then for tonight. Look for light rain to develop late tonight, maybe even towards daybreak, 51 to 53 north. Uh, mid and upper 50s further south as the rain moves in earlier in South Haven, probably around 4 a.m. Uh, late tonight, maybe even towards daybreak tomorrow, uh, low and mid 50s to the north here in the greater Grand Rapids area. Uh, we'll see our rain develop uh, well after midnight, mid 50s to maybe even near 60. 13 on your side forecast. Rain moves out Tuesday night. Sun moves in on Wednesday afternoon. Lots of sunshine Thursday and Friday before the clouds increase. Uh, both those days, Thursday and Friday, will be back into the mid 70s. Average high is 72, uh, 71, I should say. I think we'll actually be warmer than average other than tomorrow. Upper 70s with the rain moving in Saturday night and certainly for Sunday before it starts to depart uh, the following Monday. So yes, after a very dry September, we're going to start to make up for some of that this week. That's some good news. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, George. Well, George, we got lucky over the weekend with some rain. I'm hearing we got some more on the way here in West Michigan. Uh, we do. Instead of a long, prolonged period of rain, we're going to come in little bits and pieces. We had some on Sunday that was most welcome. We have more on your Tuesday. 13 weather ball is blinking bright because of the rain inside. It's also green. No change to the cooler weather pattern for seeing highs today. Certainly a lot cooler, even cooler than our average high of 71 made 70 in Holland or in Muskegon, excuse me for the warm spot 66 here in Grand Rapids, but we did forecast 74 for today. Uh, that is only one of two misses in the last about 68 days or so. We'll try to get back on track here tomorrow uh, through Saturday. We managed to put 12 days in a row where it reached 80 degrees or higher in the month of September. So that is a September record eclipsing 11 days first 11 days there back in 1961. It has certainly been a warm month so far up until Sunday with our rain. The rain helped improve our deficit just a little bit, but we're still running anywhere from an inch and a quarter to over two inches below average. Same up north, two and a half inches below average up in Traverse City. And even in the UP, uh, Marquette has had less than half of the amount of rain it should have up to this point in the uh, month of September. We'll get some more rain. Uh, looking at it a different way in the last 30 days here in uh, West Michigan, we've only had three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half. That's this uh, green area and that represents only 25 to 50% of what we should have. 100% would be uh, exactly the right amount, but over 90 days since uh, late June, we have had 75 to 100% of our possible rainfall with 7 to 12 inches, so it's just been dry in the last 30 days. It's had a little bit of an effect on our fall colors. This is the uh, Explore Fall a color outlook. We mainly have some light color from Grand Rapids northward. Moderate color starting to develop across the UP. As you can see right in through there, uh, light color off to the north of Grand Rapids and area wide. Most of the color is, of course, out here in the Rocky Mountains where they get a head start 
on a fall out there. Got some high clouds coming on in. Here comes the next round of rain that'll be pushing through late tonight. Uh, so we got a dry night, but it may be wet just a dime for your morning commute. Just some light well, rain on the roads, definitely wet for your lunch hour, and then the rain will start to pull out, but not until after your evening commute. And we could see a good deal of rain, but dry weather expected all day on Wednesday, Thursday as well. And for all those important high school football games on Friday as well, we're just going to see some high clouds move in later on. Now, Saturday should be dry in most locations. A lot of home college football games taking place. All the rain is expected to move in Sunday night or Saturday night into the day on Sunday. So that's when our next round of rain will come. Um, amount of rain through tomorrow morning, just enough to wet the ground. Most areas will see rain with the exception of well off to the north. Some spots could see up to an inch of rain here during the day tomorrow and then a little bit more coming up on Sunday. So the forecast for tomorrow, cloudy skies, rain moving from south to north uh, through the late night through the day tomorrow. Highs only around 70 at the lake. Uh, northern areas, upper 60s, maybe even as warm as 69 there in Greenville with light rain and light to moderate rain here in the greater Grand Rapids area. Highs tomorrow between about 68 and 70. 13 on your side forecast. Average high is 71. I think only one day here this week we will see below average temperatures, and that'll be tomorrow with a 68. 72 as the sun comes out on Wednesday. 76 Thursday with increasing clouds on Friday. And then that rain Saturday night into Sunday, upper 70s both of those days. And then just a little bit cooler with some rain lingering into Monday.